Hi, my name is James Clothier. I'm a 32-year-old filmmaker who has Marfan syndrome. Uh, what I'm about to do is demonstrate how I've been able to heal the pain that I get in the joints of uh, my body, uh, hips, knees, even my shoulder. But um, while it might not come in the, back in the exact same place, it has been known to uh, come back in the same joint, but in a different area. So what I'd like to show you is it's actually better done sitting down and I'll start off that way. This is my knee. As you can tell that looks very marfany. Really thin, bony, bulging. That's a marfan knee. So I I get joint pains quite often, uh, more so probably because of toxicity from other reasons um, that I was subjected to in the, in the past couple of years. But um, we can't all eat healthy and uh, we can't always avoid uh, putting toxic things in our body, it sometimes does happen. So, but um, if you do get inflammation problems from uh, toxicity, uh, it could definitely affect your body in, in negative ways with having Marfan syndrome if you have it or if, if you know somebody with it, they could be uh, prone to getting inflammation problems just like in my knee right around here. In this area right here, I can tell that this is where I'm gonna have to, this is where I'm gonna have to work on it. So um, it's better to keep it relaxed so you can see that the, the tissue isn't being, the tissue isn't being flexed, right? It's just relaxed. And uh, I'll keep talking as I, as I start here. So what you want to do is make a thumb. And you want to cut your nails. Mine aren't cut, but uh, I'm going to try this anyway because this is a pretty small pain. I should be able to get rid of it fairly easy. Um, what you want to do is get uh, on the point uh, where you're going to need to work it. I, it. Really, you don't need to massage it like I'm doing right now. I'm just going to show you, right? You want to press hard where it hurts. The harder you press, the more you're going to release the inflammation. And it could be uncomfortable. It doesn't hurt that much more if you're standing up. Um, uh, it could. Uh, it, that's that's what could cause the the issue with the pain, right? When you're standing or when you're actually using it, and and for whatever way, I mean. It, for me, so far, it's, it's affected me most uh, when I'm walking. Uh, so getting up and moving around. But I, I've been pushing it here for a minute or two, just feeling around. And what it needs is a lot of pressure, okay? So this, is, this might not be a maneuver for somebody that's in extreme pain where there um, is heavy damage done to the, the tissues. I can feel, I can feel it, it's, it feels great right now. It's, uh, it's releasing the inflammation and it's actually healing myself from the pain. You just, you, what you want to do is you can tell, right, that it's, it's being pressed down really hard, right? I, uh, you know, I, I'm not as strong as I used to be. And I know I never was that strong for having Marfan syndrome. It really is a, a it, it, it decreases your competitive competitive advantage, right? But I'm still going here, and uh, it, it, uh, if if it does hurt, that means you need to you need to press harder. You need to get on their heart, and you need to continue in the same in the same area. Your your finger will move around slightly. It's uh, it's it's. It's not like it's going to stay in the same position. The tissue is very moist, so it does slip around. But if it does, it's probably your body telling you that the inflammation in that area is also needing to be worked on. So you want to just go with your intuition. And um, yeah, I'm getting rid of a lot. Of, the pain is just disappearing, man. It feels great. This is like the most relaxing type of massage ever and it's what it is is it, it is, a, is a type of massage it's not acupressure it's uh it's like acupressure but you you're not working on a meridian you're working on the pain itself and no one in acupressure or 
um, shiatsu massage or even mas massage therapy has ever been able to come close to this much relief from pain. Yeah, it's it's done. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna show you how much better I feel. Yeah. Yeah, that, that just got rid of most of it for me. Um, actually, if not all of it, I I got to roll down my pant leg to be sure because that would just potentially cut off the circulation. But yeah, that feels great. Um, you know, you're not always going to get it on your first try and hopefully you don't have to do it more than one try because that can mean that um, you're not doing it right. If you uh, were as good as I am at healing uh, Marfan syndrome pains in the joints, even, even in um, internal in the torso area, in the, in the area of the abdomen, I mean. And <coughs> I've had pains there doing the same technique. I, I really believe that this is a healing technique that might be suitable only for Marfan syndrome. My friend has degenerative disc disease and we haven't tried it on her because it's just too risky to even think about it. She's let me touch it and, and I and she's had a massage and different stuff. I don't do massage for people. <coughs> but I am looking for someone with Marfan syndrome that I can uh, that I can help um, hands on if, if they need it. Uh, but the best thing to do is to try this yourself. I think it's extremely low risk um, and it's free. You can potentially help other people. So if you know someone with Marfan syndrome and you, and you try to do what I just did to my leg, um, it doesn't require that much stre strength. I, I'm i actually considerably weak right now. I, I, I have a, f a few reasons why I believe I would be stronger had my life not taken some turns in the past uh, few years that uh, really weakened my position um, career-wise and for a lot of other reasons, but I do have the ability to share this knowledge and it's something that's been benefiting me now for a couple of years or more. Um, I've been experimenting with it for a long time. Um, it's not easy to discover one of these things. You have to imagine the grueling process that it would have come to, to actually put my mind to something and innovated an idea in a totally new way that has not been tried before. I, I'm pretty sure that I'm the first person in the world to be able to do this, uh, besides um, other healers who could probably do mystical healings like Jesus did. And uh, it would be maybe in a similar realm of healing ability uh, with regard to pain relief. I don't know really what miracles he did uh, with regard to healing people, but, um, it, it, it was an, inspira an, an inspiration to me with regard to healing uh, this uh, problem that I have, which is uh, joint pain common one to two to even three times a month. It happens if you have Marfan syndrome. You can get joint pain commonly. It, it can just come from nowhere. And, and my feeling is that if I didn't heal it, it would get a lot worse. Uh, because I've gone days where I haven't healed it and, and it didn't get better. So, um, good luck with your Marfan syndrome. And if you're interested in what I have to offer here uh, through my knowledge and my practicality of healing pain, uh, joint pain, I've even healed arthritis in my in an old injury in my hand. And um, it's all pressure based. Uh, there's other ways that you could probably heal inflammation with nutrition but you could just go on Google and figure that out eventually or just know the right person and they might introduce you to raw living foods or something like that. That actually probably would be the only other thing that could uh, heal inflammation as, as far as it goes um, right now in the um, nutritional world. Uh, med med uh, medicinal nutritional world food food medicine um, it would be the raw living food diet but um, that's something that you have to decide for yourself because not everybody can afford to live healthy so I'm here
trying uh, to get this word out about what I've found out. If you like this video, please subscribe and share and like. Uh, that would be much appreciated. And if you want to contact me, you can uh, reach me at 226 312 2886 or my uh, gmail address is jameswsclothier at gmail.com uh, I look forward to answering any questions you guys might have. Thank you very much. Goodbye.